What's going on guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Today we are replacing this extract fan with a nice new one. Uh, this extract fan is currently in a bathroom that I repainted the ceiling. Uh, last week I repainted this ceiling, it was covered in um, condensation mould. Reason being is this bathroom was converted to a wet room um, for a disabled lady. I think this was done quite a while ago and the ventilation was really poor in this room and so we're just replacing this standard extractor with a pull cord um, which you can easily forget to turn on and off with this one which actually has a, a humidity stat and a pull cord you can take the pull cord off if needed but I'm going to leave it on anyway because the humidity stat does kick in automatically so we're going to go through the process of taking this one off and putting that one on it's quite a simple process but there's a few little things that you need to be aware of while doing that. First thing being turning the electric off. So let's go and do that. So this is the electric box. I know that the ring main for this one is on the light socket because I actually tried to fit this extract fan yesterday and the one that was sent was a dud, so I've got a replacement. But to test this out, uh, just go through them, have somebody upstairs, uh, just leave it running, and then when it turns off, that's the one that you want to turn off. But always make sure you test and I'll show you how to test that now. Okay, so to test this, you can just try and turn it on. There's no power so it's not gonna turn on. But I wouldn't recommend just using that as a test because it's not really that safe. So we're gonna take this cover up. We'll be fairly sure that there's no power but we're gonna make 100% sure there's no power. The other day, this was caked in so much wet dust and stuff like that. Most extractors, you just take that front cover off and all the wiring's hit there. But on this one, you've still got another four screws to take out. These ones are a little bit stripped now because they're really old, so I'm going to just get my drill and whiz them out. That's where the wiring is. As I say, it's simple, just live and neutral because these are double insulated. They actually say in the instructions, do not earth these, which is why there's only a live and a neutral. So as you saw, I was only holding the plastic outside, nowhere near the wiring, just in case there is anything there. So this is what I'm going to be using. This is an LAP non-contact voltage de detector. Uh, you can pick these up from pretty much any hardware shop, uh, screw fix, uh, tool station, get them on Amazon, anything like that, I'll stick some links down below. So this one's got a little torch, just for hard to see areas. But the important part is the on button, so you see the green light there, and you just wave it in between the wires, both sides, and I'll show you what happens with this when you install the other one and turn the electric back on with how you get a live voltage test. So now we're happy that there's no actual electric current going through this, uh, we can handle it quite safely and we can undo these wires. Now on the new one, there's already one of these connection boxes uh, built into it, so we're gonna just uh, detach from this side. If you don't have one, then you can just detach from this side, just to make it easier for yourself. It's just a case of unscrewing those a little bit and that'll pop straight out. And then there's another, there was four, I've just put two back, three back in, so there's one at the top, two at the bottom. We'll whiz them out, we'll pull this unit off, and then we'll clean it up behind, and we'll put the other one on. Suck this out of the way for a minute, and uh, like I say, give this a bit of a clean up. 
Because it's quite solid. I don't know what's the other guy. Oh, This is a new unit, and what you want to do is you want to make sure when you buy a new unit that the current hole is the right size for the unit. This is a 4 inch unit, and this is a 115 mil hole. They recommend 105 for these, but it fits perfectly in there. And there's just one screw at the bottom of this one, slide the front slides off, and then, like I say, all the wiring is usually just straight behind the front cover. Which is handy for us because we can then get this into place, uh, we can test it before we put all the cover back on and it's a bit annoying. On here you've got two, wi two options of wiring, you've got through the side which comes with this little rubber grommet that you slide out there and put on there just to help water ingress. But on this one you've got this little blanking plate which I'm just going to cut that out and when it goes on there the wires will just come straight through there. Okay, so now I've popped that little hole out there, uh, we're going to wire this up. We're wiring this up, uh, it's kind of hard to see on the camera. You do have some imprints in the plastic moulding. Uh, you've got live at the top, neutral in the middle, light switch at the bottom. There's three different ways you can wire this up. One of them is for it to be permanently on using a humidistat, which is this down here to set the percentage of humidity. Um, I'm not going to go into that. Uh, there's a guy called Charlie DIY. He has an amazing video on relative humidity and how to test it and what you need to set this at for your property. I'll stick a link to that down below. There's loads of information on there for you. You've also got a timer, which is for the light switch, but this is just a straight feed. It's not running from the light switch. Uh, some of some new properties now, when you switch the light on, the extractor will turn on, and this timer will leave it on until that time after you turn the light switch off and you can also bypass the pull cord uh, so I'm going to leave the pull cord on and we're just going to use the humidistat so it's, this will still kick in even if this pull cord is turned off but if you get in the shower and it's not already on you can just turn it on straight away This is where it gets a little bit confusing because you've got all the different colour wiring. Uh, in general UK households, uh, brown is live, blue is neutral. Um, I think this is Chinese wiring, which is orange and black. Um, all the wiring you'll have red and black. Uh, red's live, black's neutral. So brown's live, blue's neutral. So if you can wire a plug, you should be able to wire in this. It's as simple as, he says, the only difficulty is these are just really stiff wires and they're just a bit of a pain to work with, but to make it easier, you can pop this out. Just make sure to check the wiring is the right way and don't twist it around. Just want to do that a little bit. Give everything a bit of a wiggle just to make sure it's tight. Slide this back through. We'll pop this back in place. If it lets me. Like I said, the stiff wires a bit of pain. And there is a wire grip there to help hold them. So we'll just slide this into there. I'll probably secure it with just one screw at the minute just to give it a test and uh, yeah should be good. Just a quick note, these do not actually come with screws, um, I used some self tappers in these yesterday but I'm just going to use these little screws that I have spare from fitting kitchens and stuff, little pan head screws and they're going to be perfect for going in there. The screws that you do use just make sure they do sit nicely in that little housing in each corner why is this just going to get in the way when you're trying to put the cover on the front? 
we'll stick this top one in for now. These don't need to be over tight, don't just be careful with that because uh, it's pretty much this plastic that's holding it in most of the place. I think there is a beam of wood behind there, but this isn't getting pulled on all that much. Uh, that's relatively easy to pull, so you're not putting a lot of pressure on there. So just be in mind of that where you are actually fitting this. And I know that wiring goes all the way back and up, so I'm quite safe for the wires there. Alright, so we'll go downstairs, we'll switch the electric on, and we'll give this a test. It should just come straight on, um, so you'll know before I do. And there we go. Uh, I did actually have this switched off from the fuse, which is outside the room as well. So, can't override it at the moment, because the immunity in this room is already too high for the meter stat to turn itself off. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch this back off and uh, we're going to get this cover on. Technically you could leave this like this but it's just safer and when it comes to electrics that's 240 volts you better say some sorry. Before I turn the electric off I'm going to show you what this looks like when it does detect current and that's what it does. Just constantly beeps so both sides there it's got current. So if this beeps, do not do anything with your electrics. Switch everything off, even if you've got to switch the whole mains off, just to be safe before you're working, because that is quite dangerous. So I'm going to go switch this off again. I'm going to get this cover on here. I'm going to screw it in, get the cover on, and we're done. put the cover on on this particular model I struggled with the one that I was doing yesterday it's got this little lip here and that just hooks over to the top so you want to hook that on first and then slide it down that's nice and easy I was trying to push it on straight and I was really struggling but hook it over the top and slide the bottom on and then we just tighten that screw up a little bit just to stop it coming off there we go, one last time we're going to switch the electric back on and this should be the job done. There we go guys, one nice new fan fitted. Uh, I'm going to go for lunch and then when I pop back I'm going to put some silicon in these holes from the old screws just to stop things going. Just stop the water going through there and uh, that's it, it's all done, nice and fitted. Nice easy job, like I say you can probably do this yourself at home. If you can wire a plug you can probably wire one of these. Just be safe, just make sure all the electric's gone like this video please give it a good thumbs up if you want to learn any more DIY tips and tricks like this if there's something you want to know how to do yourself at home please let me know down below subscribe to the channel just so you don't miss anything out and I will see you in the next one